Hello, you fucks. Welcome to John Solo's Beer Brigade. I'm John Solo, and we are live from GRL, which is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I have, I have Patty Logan. Everyone knows Patty. Hi. She, she's like a rock star. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, and this is the first, this is a whole big experiment. So I'm hopefully going to be able to see your comments here, but I'm not going to be able to uh, keep track of them very well. So please forgive me if I miss some of this stuff. Thank you, Cheryl Kaiser. I might, I might bring you up later in my room. <laughs> Did I tell you this? we were uh we just did that whole thing down the, what was that what was that that we just did uh when we were just in a conference room yeah and there was a bunch of tables set up it's called this book signing a book sign <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if, I'm not very good at, yeah by the way Tracy's back here too so <laughs> you're fine Tracy you can laugh all you want that's uh, why I was confused I'm like wait a minute he doesn't know what a book signing is. Well, I, didn't, I thought it was like, uh, what were you doing down there? Like in a circle? Were you meditating? <laughs> playing down rocks in a circle? And I know what most to worship later? men do in a Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do too. <laughs> I didn't. I oh didn't, my. Well, I knew what my job was. So my job was I had bracelet charms that I was supposed to give out. Oh, I so, see. Uh, apparently, Misky Harris does this thing where she has, everybody gets a bracelet. Right. Um, and then there's like these little charms. I'm wearing know. one. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, so it's little, different. It's the not author these. Charm things. It's not these. Yeah, it's the author charms. Yeah. So Jody set it up for me. So I had John Solo. So I had these little dice charms, like the dice from Lillian. Yeah, yeah. Talking. So like the little balls. That was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a phallic <laughs> symbol, and you know it is. <laughs> Fair enough. That was my job, but I walked in and quickly Tense. determined. No. So this is our first convention with masks, and I don't. I don't do very well with this. So I don't either. I'm, I'm, I'm bad. So what I decided to do was I <laughs> went out of the convention in the hall and there was like a little table. So I stood at my little table. And oh. I was like, all right, I can drink my coffee and take my mask. So, and you know, it's fair enough. If you're drinking a drink, nobody's going to say anything. That's right. And that's yeah. where I stood and hung out. Um, and I gave out the little <laughs> charms, but <laughs> <laughs> Tracy's watching us live in the background. Um, but anyways, uh, when when we did, you didn't show up to that until a little bit later. I saw your yeah. daughter come in. We had a spa thing this morning. My daughter and I. You went to a spa. We went to we went and got massages this morning. <laughs> GRL is extremely stressful. It kind of kind of so is we, sometimes. We got, we got we yeah we we booked in some massage time, so we did that first thing in the morning. We skipped breakfast and then. Um, I don't know. We went to put makeup on because everything had melted off in the spa. So then we came up to the thing late. Did, so you even saw What else? Do you, I've never done a spa thing before. You've what never else? had a massage? No. Oh. I'm a, I'm a man. I don't. Men go to the spa. Half the people there this morning were men. When men go to the spa, it's a whole different thing. They There's like a, a they, little grunt? Chinese. And it's like a happy ending and stuff. Oh, God. Is that, is, that's, did they that's do that for the women? spa down in. Yeah. <laughs> It's not the same thing. I don't at know. All. I don't know how this works. I bought Jody a spa thing once for our. our and she didn't I, tell you what it was about. No. So I proposed to her, and I, I I had this whole day planned out. I have her picked up from work in a limo. She didn't know it was going to happen. Aw, that's I, nice. I know because I'm, I'm I'm good. The one time, twenty years ago, I did this, um, and then the limo took her to a spa, and then I picked her up from the spa, and we went out to dinner that night. But no, right. I didn't ask a single thing. So I was just trying to get laid. I didn't know. It was. <laughs> Wow, because you're such an a-hole. I know. But you can't yep. help yourself. So they do a massage? Do they do like nails and shit too? Is well, that... yeah, if you request all those add-ons. Right. Yeah, they'll do all that. But no, we just we didn't have time, so we just went there for that. Maybe. And we went to the Four Seasons. It was really nice. I it's should very do, posh. Because it is kind of you're, stressful. We're people right? a lot. Yeah. It's really not that expensive, and it's worth it because you just come out feeling – depends on what you want. You can have, do deep tissue massage. You can do Swedish massage. You can do whatever. I just did. I did like an arnica because I have really sore muscles and back and stuff. What's an arnica? Arnica is you know what arnica cream is. It's what they put on bruises. Um, have you ever had a tattoo? It's what they put on tattoos. Yeah, I'm a redneck. I did a tattoo and then I left <laughs> with a what a dirty rusty needle i mean yes <laughs> my prison time we're not talking about that <laughs> but anyway 
I can't. I, yeah. So no, the first tattoo I did, we were at a gig, and uh, it was like out in the middle of a cornfield, and they had a stage a like cornfield on cornfield. Yeah. Tattoo. Wow. Yeah. So That's yeah, awesome. and they they had like a flatbed, and we set up on that, and there was like a guy with a tent, and he had that sounds uh, sanitary. That was my first. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like in the sun all day and shit, and I wonder why it faded, but. You I'm wonder saying. why. Yeah, yeah, but that's what happened. And then the next ones, Jody decided she's going to tat- do tattoos. Right. So she bought a tattoo gun. So I was. Is the, she very artistic? Much more so than she was with that tattoo gun. <laughs> <laughs> she really tried hard. She really did. She did. Aww. But I mean, to her credit, we also didn't know like needles get dull after a little while. I don't know these things. I, I didn't either. I don't. I thought they changed needles. So on every that would have been a good idea. Um, I mean, so the really? second one that we did, it was like, man, this, is, this hurts. This <laughs> like really hurts. Well, it depends on where it is, I think. Yeah. And a lot of people like my son has, he's tatted like from, he's got full sleeves, his chest, his back, everything like that, except that. that covers. I told him if you get anything that is above your neckline, like if you ever want to be in business, cause he goes, I'm going to get a neck tattoo. I'm like, you're not getting a neck tattoo. <laughs> He's 34 years old. And right. I'm like, you're not getting a neck tattoo or I'm going to punch you in the face the next time I see you. <laughs> so he says he keeps it under the collar line, you know? Mm-hmm. So, but everywhere else, you know, he can do it. And now he's working on his thighs. So he's working his way down, but his thing, because he was an addict for many years. Mm-hmm. And so he, so a lot of addicts become addicted to, to needles needles yeah. yeah it's odd but that's what they do i'm and so grateful i never i wouldn't have come back from that i don't i barely came back from what i was doing but i never i accidentally did meth once i never did heroin yeah i was lucky and so i i didn't get into opiates <clears throat> i'm grateful for that because i don't me and one of my buddies made a pact real early on no needles and i i fucked every other pact <laughs> like i these lines that you put in the sand, right. eventually you cross if you keep going. And I luckily yeah. never crossed that one. He's It's a miracle he's alive. Yeah. We kicked him out so many times. He ended up on Skid Row because we live in Los Angeles. So he lived lived on Skid Row for a couple of years. I didn't realize, I think me and you talked about this once before, and I didn't realize Skid Row was an actual place. It is. It's a real place. Yeah. Oh, you thought it was like a metaphor. Right. Oh, I remember okay. that, that song. Well, made, it probably is. There was a band called Skid Row. So I figured it was. Oh, oh it's, it's a nasty, awful, horrible place. Huh. Yeah. Did you have to like go pick him up from there? Or did I you... didn't do anything after yeah. at that point. I was done. I had crossed. He had crossed the line with me yeah. so many times and burned so many bridges. And I had put him in multiple rehabs. And I just I was done. And um, uh, his dad kept bringing him back home. His dad kept. He would come and pound on the door at two in the morning. Let me in. You know, we changed the locks on the house so many times. He broke windows to get in. It was, it was bad. Yeah, you're talking my language. Um... It was bad. What took you from California? You don't live in Cali now, do you? I do. I oh, live I'm in Los sorry Angeles. About that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it seems to me like you were from someplace else and then you went to Cali or you were in Cali. No, and went I'm a native. Else. I'm a California native. No shit. I've lived all over California, but most all in Southern California, but just Southern California is a vast place. Yeah. So you can live close to the ocean, you can live close to the mountains, and, and it's just, you know, LA County is the biggest county in the in the country geographically well so it's just huge there's more people there than i mean it's almost like new york city it's like 14 million or something yeah. in the city itself and in the state we're, we're at like 39 million or something insane like that how it's long crazy was, how long was the flight here we took one uh we went i'm with my daughter this you know Sasha. Yeah, yeah so we went from LA. We went. Dude, from, her daughter is like the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. She's, she's a like little a cute little, button. <laughs> she, she, she like bouncing around this little thing. You're like, I didn't. I. She seemed a little. I don't think she's ever done anything like this before. Right? No, it's not uh-uh. her thing. But she's. Is she the candle seller? Is she? Is no, that, that's that, the that, older that's daughter. One. Okay. This um, one's the fitness guru. Does she look anything like you did when you were 22? Um, yeah, except my husband's Iranian, so she's got all the dark. Right looks because but I then could, the blue eyes which I, makes her beautiful i definitely immediately when i saw you two together i was like well that's mother daughter right there really um, yeah well that's nice you, your daughter's smoking hot i'm sorry i mean she's, she's really she, pretty she's a she's, she's a cute really, little girl really pretty um but also she's like way super cool nice yeah um she's just a nice person she is she's a great kid she made me smile so we went from well that's good yeah 
She makes everybody smile. We went from. I wasn't um, trying to be weird saying your daughter was smoking hot, but she's no, a cute that's okay. Girl. She is. It's true. And I <laughs> don't take it that way. Yeah. Trust me. We went from Burbank to Dallas, which was fun. We had a, a layover in Dallas for like three hours, mm-hmm. and then we um, came here. So like two hours and two hours and forty two minutes. One uh, one leg, and then another two hours coming back coming I, here. I do not enjoy Dallas's airport at all, but <sighs> it was big. Yeah. That's I've gotten lost there before trying to catch. Flight. Really? Yeah. For, well, we were with long. Southwest the whole time, so we stayed in the same terminal. Cool. Not as bad as some of the others, but are you staying through Sunday? When yeah. You're leaving? Well, we're leaving Sunday afternoon. I'm trying to decide. So I'm checking out on Saturday, and I'm not exactly sure because now I heard there's costume party on Saturday night. There is. I didn't know this. I thought Wednesday what? was the only. I thought our dance dance revolution thing last night that we had going on. I thought that was the only one this year. So, no, there's a big, the big party is Saturday. Yeah. So, and I remember like 2019, the last one, I, they did the same thing, but I thought that the dance party thing was it. So. Oh, okay. But now I kind of want to go. Yeah. You have to, <laughs> you have to go. Yeah. So I got to figure it out. I, I'm either going to talk to the hotel and see if I can stand in the night or I'm going to sleep in Tracy's driveway. I've got, <laughs> well, I've got doc. I mean, it's like a rolling hotel. I can do that. Right. I right. Mean, Maybe I should have just done that here and stay in the parking garage. It would have been a lot cheaper. I'm sure they would have loved that. <laughs> they would have really appreciated that. Did I tell you my coffee thing yet? No. What'd you do? Well, so I love really good coffee, right? And their coffee here sucks. Yeah. Starbucks, I'm sorry. I know. This You're such shit. a snob. Um, so I did I, buy your coffee, though. The Black Rifle? Yeah, I did buy it. It's the best. It was good. Silencer Smooth from Black Rifle is my favorite. So I, Jody ground me. I've got... There's a bag over there. It looks like I've got drugs. No, it's uh-huh. coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> so my plan last night, I have the propane tank out in docks. I have like a rolling house, basically. My mm-hmm. Jeep, I can live in it indefinitely if I have to, which is my plan in case Jody finally kicks me out, which could happen any day because <laughs> she's smart. Um, but so I have this. I love you, honey. Please don't <laughs> kick me out. Um, I have this propane tank out there uh, with this propane stove with a little propane tank. So my plan was, I've got a gallon of water over there. You can see the jug. My plan was, I was going to go out to the parking lot. It was like 11 o'clock at night. And I was going to make you are coffee. You so ghetto. I know. But that was my, because I needed good coffee. And I have a thermos. I was going to fill it up. That'll last me the day. But then I decided at the last, because Jody was like, do you feel safe going out into the parking garage at 11 o'clock? And I was, she's way smarter than I am. So I was like, well, maybe that's. So I decided I was going to use their little coffee maker here. Hopefully nobody from the hotel watches this. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, because what are they going to do? Maybe let you go when you're supposed well, to Well, uh, yeah. My plan, let you uh, come back? So I could do that. Or I could bring the propane thing in here and cook it in here. But then I'm like got a meth lab going on. Wow. The, and so I decided I was going to try and use their little coffee. So I, I made my coffee filters out of paper towels. And I put the coffee grinds oh my God, in there, a little coffee. Oh, go downstairs and buy a cup of coffee. That's I finally ended up. So it turns out that the Seriously, coffee really? ground, my, they're too thick and it didn't, it was overflowing. <laughs> is this a no-brainer <laughs> or what? Trace is laughing her ass off over there. She's just, like dying. It didn't work. So yeah, I made a mess over there. <laughs> and, yeah. And then I was like debating. So yeah, I ended up, Trace was nice enough to offer to go get me a coffee this morning. So I'm drinking their shit coffee. I don't you're, know how people do this. You're, I don't. Yeah, I know. That's this is a real dilemma, John. It's the mind of an addict. <laughs> like it's so true. Does it does it not make sense to somebody like this? Was all I was thinking about. Like, and I was obsessing. I so, bet. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna have coffee. I know. So I what did I do coffee. instead? I stayed up until two a.m. to set this whole thing, and I distracted myself with technology. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. Um, are you doing one of the author lounge things today? Yeah. Right after this. I don't understand. Didn't we used to have authors read things? Well, no, we're doing, I'm doing a Q and a right after this. Okay. Um, that's a panel and I don't exactly know what it is. Hopefully people show up to ask questions. Otherwise it's going to be really embarrassing. Probably they will because AEV is going to be there. Yay. Thank God I'm on a panel with AEV and she's like a big deal and she's a massive draw, which is awesome. Yeah. And there's other authors as well. And so that's right after this. And then... I don't know. Sasha has this whole thing planned out for me today. I should look on my phone. There's like <laughs> 10 things I have to do today, but I do have an author lounge later on this cool. afternoon. Well, so the I'm... Q&A is different than an author lounge. Author lounge is just stand up there and hawk your goods and just throw swag at people and they catch it and, as they walk by. Is that like 
I used to throw t-shirts out in the crowd kind of thing. It's the same kind of <laughs> – I mean it can be done that way, yeah. but that's so tacky. No, we let them actually walk up to the table and choose what they want. We're wow. just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very – normally what I do with these things is I'll float around and I'll find an author that I am friendly with and I'll mm-hmm. go sit at their table for a while and, and bullshit. But I realize that I'm kind of a distraction because I talk a lot. And oh, I would I love it if you would stop by. That would be awesome. I might because I'm Please not – Please do. But – I'm a distraction. You see, that's the problem. That's okay. So, because I'm going to have all the true, the the Prosper Woods books on the table. Nice. They're not for sale today. They're going to be for sale on Saturday, but I'll have them all on the table so you can hold them up next to you and take, people who want to take pictures with you. And Have you seen Anna Weinhardt's deal? Do you know who Anna Weinhardt is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So everything that she does on her, her Facebook page, she'll record videos and she makes food art into dicks kind of thing. So she'll cool. mash potatoes into a dick shape and whatever. So she always has this thing where she holds it up to her face and that's how you can tell perspective how large it right. is. <laughs> She's just holding cocks up to her face all day long. That's <laughs> so maybe I should do that with your prosper woods. So just <laughs> perspective. It's a book. <laughs> so did, did you, uh, did, did you finish? When's the next prosper woods coming? Um, It'll be finished at the end of this month, and it comes out on November 17th. Okay. And that's the final book in the series. Is there any chance that we can get this whole two-day gap between edit to publish <laughs> five? <laughs> well, I wish I could. I mean, I'm always on these really, really super tight yeah. deadlines. And this series has literally been written. I started writing it in uh, January. I released the first book in March. So I've released four books in like seven months, and then this one is coming out in November. So it's like five books, an entire series in nine months. It's been crazy back-to-back, like, bullshit. I told my editor, I'm like, I have a new editor, too. Uh She's like, do you always work like this? And her eyes are like, I can just, I'm, we've talked on the phone and over email, but I know her eyes are like this big. Like She's going, do you always work like this? Is it always this hectic? I can get her some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so horrible. I'm such a horrible person. But no, she's like, it's all good, love. I, she's so accommodating and so wonderful. Mm-hmm. Like I sent her half the book. So she's editing literally half the book right now. And then when I get back, I'll finish the other half and send it to her by the end of the month. Well, that's got to be tricky for her because of continuity and all that. So yeah. she's not exactly sure what's going on. Yeah. Um, is she doing any sort of those types of edits where she's, you know, suggesting she, in the she, story? She reads it once through and then to make notes for herself for continuity. Mm-hmm. Then she does the edits. Then when I, after that goes back to me and then back to her, then she does a, an out loud reading. She'll literally sit and read the book out loud. Dude, so that's that, awesome. Isn't it? Yes. She reads it out loud so that way she knows if... Well, you hear things different than as you know. Mm-hmm. How many things have you caught when you're when you're doing my me and me and Anna Bird have have talked so much about this. It's amazing. I, I've said to her because she's my best friend. I've said, dude, if you just want to write it, then have me read it out loud. Yeah. While we're making it, and we can just edit right, right there. And um, <laughs> she's well, most the of the time, you, most of the time, the stuff that you've caught has been because first person. This yep. is the first series I've ever written in first person too. I've always done third person. So this has like been whatever. So you're like, well, he didn't say that because he's, this isn't him talking, you know? Uh-huh. I'm like, damn. How is it that I got your first first person? Like I'm all about third person. I said, that's my absolute favorite. Mm-hmm. I have a favorite perspective. <laughs> the first person is really challenging as a narrator because if you get into a series I like bet. this. Now, luckily with your series, I'm, now there's multiple characters. We've heard a lot of characters. Multiple characters. But we're really only following one main couple. Right. And then there's, Greg and, Greg and Sam. Sam. Yeah, they're but, separate, but but I mean, we're following Vincent and Romeo. That's right. the deal, um, which makes it a shit ton easier for me because I really only. But once you get into creating fifteen, sixteen different POV voices, that's right. when it becomes a real issue for me. Right, and it's impossible. You do Sergio really well, my bad vampire. I'm worried about that, to be honest with you, because it's you like actually such do a, a really good job with it's him. Such a. F- do you remember Conan O'Brien? Yeah. You know, so, uh, Triumph the Wonder Dog. Yeah. That's Sergio. Yeah. That's there the you voice. Go. That's yeah. where that fucking, which yeah. is really just my one horrible overseas accent that I do. Mm-hmm. 
twisted just a little tiny bit and that's yeah. fucking but yeah i worried about that because i was like how many people are just gonna say what accent is that what? but you know what it doesn't matter because he's i wrote him so over the top because he's an evil bastard and i i have the most fun writing him he's wily coyote because he's just like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> well, how can i fuck with them some more you know he's just this horrible bad vamp you know i love him <laughs> and, like like he'll rip the head off of somebody like you know, he walks over and he's like, I've had enough of you. And kick, drop kick the head across the room. I mean, I love him. Well, and he has the perfect, like, pinky in the brain guy <laughs> there with him. What's the, what's the dumb werewolf, werewolf that, uh, that, uh. Floyd. Floyd, thank you very yeah, much. Floyd. It's like pinky in the brain going on here. Yeah. So it's fantastic. It's like, um, I hate you. You smell like a dog. <laughs> oh. You know, <laughs> and John's just like having so much fun with this character. I love it. I'm yeah, just like, I and enjoy. I watch you on Discord when you're recording these, and I laugh my ass off. Oh my God. Well, you know, you are, I've had a few authors do that, right? They come in, and some, we haven't had a weird one yet, but I keep on imagining this where an author just jumps in and goes, no, 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 no. You're fucking it all up here. Um, <laughs> no. And I keep on imagining it, but no one ever does. But I'm like all worried because way back early in my career, I had a couple of people that tried to micromanage a process and that just fucking sucks. Imagine yeah, somebody looking over your shoulder while you're writing. It's fucking horrible. But no, you like, you should come be a part of the group when it's not your books because mm -hmm, <laughs> you're yeah. fucking great. Um, and everybody loves you. But we do need to get your microphone to work in Discord. That'd be cool. So. You know, that would be nice, except I'm not a tech person. Sasha could do it in like two seconds. I'll have her work on that when yeah, we get home. Next time, just so for those few Iranian words that you keep slipping <laughs> in my way. And yeah. I know they're not Iranian, but whatever the hell it is. Farsi, is that the one it's you Farsi, put in? That's Iranian. Is that what that is? Yeah. You learn something new every day. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm good at playing dumb. Who uh, knew? But yeah. Trace knew. <laughs> She's see, I pay people like Trace because they're smart. No, because she watches right. CNN. Yeah, hey. it works like a charm. <laughs> um, is the next Prosper Woods books is, is that going to be the last one in the series? It'll be the last one in the series. Well, that's unfortunate. I know. It would, it's you can so do a spin -off. fun. First, you need to make an impreg so one of them pops a baby out of their. Oh God! Bottom, and then you can then you can have a spinoff where the children come in and they can do their. You know what? I love this town so much. I don't even know if I can end. I know. Here. That's what I'm saying. I will have to do a spinoff yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I don't know who it's going to be yet. <laughs> well, I'll figure can, it out. You can do a coffee table book of just the Prosper Woods Chronicles things. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Those, <laughs> the letters to the editor. Yeah. Those are it, fun. They're also... Sometimes they're like so on and I know they're on and sometimes they just like go... <laughs> and then I have to go back and go, this isn't funny. It's just stupid. And then I have to rewrite it and... But some of them are really funny. I really like that. Okay, this is going to be a long segue, but um, segue might not be the right word. See, I like it because ultimately they make you write longer chapters. And I would like recording longer chapters because it feels like I get more done. Um, if I sit and work on a long chapter, let's say I get a, a half hour, 45 minute long, a finished audio chapter. Um, I can do two of those in a session before I take a break and it's awesome. But if I have the equivalent in 15 minute chapters, I never get as much done. I end up taking... so. This is the way it works. Yeah, I don't write short chapters. I write I love half it. hour chapters. And you got to think up a joke for each one. So I think yes. you go even longer just because yeah. you know when I end this chapter, I got to write another fucking joke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's – so yeah, there's my selfish reason for liking them. It's hard to find – think about that. I've written – what? Each book has like 15 chapters and yep. I've written five books now. And so 75 of those, that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of one-liners. Yeah, a lot of one-liners, and that's what you have to – oh, whatever. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. So I noticed – and this happened, and we probably talked about it. I don't remember talking about it, but I just immediately said yes because it's you. Um, but I noticed that you gave me another series, and I don't remember which one it Oh, was. yeah, yeah. I gave you the Bound for Love series. That's a BDSM series. Sweet. So That's never been recorded. Whips so there's three books, and there are three novellas. Cool. So I don't know if we'll do them as – I guess we're doing it as a um, – as a, We'll do it as a bundle. Okay. Yeah, bundle. Yeah. That's what you call it, a bundle. Yep. Yeah. Technical words. For and it. then I think I gave you something else. Or is that the only one I gave you? I saw a couple of offers. I class. don't know. I've got a bunch of other things. Like whatever. Down you're the you're line. one of the ones that I'll say yes to at this point. So whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Thank um, you. That's fine. I'd like it if it was third person, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think those are because this is the first, like I said, this is the first series. I've, Prosper Woods is the first first person I've written. So Sweet. Everything's um, third. 
So uh, this is awkward. This is the first time I've done this live like this. But uh, for one, it looks like we got a bunch of people watching, which is fucking cool. Aww. Especially because I literally gave Bye. 20 minutes notice for this. <laughs> I announced it 20 minutes before we went live. Um, so that's awesome. But two, at some point in the next couple of days, go look at the comments because I haven't been able to look at a single okay. one of them. Uh, it's hard for me to have the screen here. And the cool thing is with this is I get to actually like – focus on the person which is fucking awesome um but we have one more thing going on here one you're gonna go do an author's lounge next is that right yeah i'm gonna do a q a next oh, the q a and yeah. then an author lounge this afternoon so is the q a at one is that what time it it's is? at 1 i think 1 30 cool yeah um so for anyone that wants to to keep on following along here we have uh who's next we have that lesbian from Texas coming on next. Um, she's going to be on around, I, I think it's 2.30 uh, JST, somewhere in there. One thirty in the time zone we're currently in. Um, Patty is going to go do a bunch of stuff. So if you're at GRL and you're watching this, Patty's going to be downstairs here in about an hour. And you're going to be doing a Q&A. Um, I'll be floating around down there somewhere at some point too. But my plan is to sit right here. By the way, everyone, when I approached Patty and asked her if she wanted to come to my hotel room, she didn't even blink twice. She was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah baby <laughs> i want to talk to that beard <laughs> wow 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 <laughs> but all right i love you fox thank you for hanging out now Bye, here's, guys. here's thank the other you big so test much. let's see if this works